Right, in this video, we're going to talk about grease zerk fittings. Uh, continuing with a vehicle maintenance for the past few videos, I've been working on my Toyotas, just general maintenance to keep them running. Why? Why, you ask? Have you gone and see how ridiculously expensive cars are? It's like, you don't call them car loans anymore. You call them car mortgages. And if you're buying a new car at these prices, you're a fool. Don't. Resist. It's not worth it. So anyway, my goal is maintain my vehicles, keep them in shape as best as I can with my little monkey brain, my little pea brain, my public school brain. But I usually figure stuff out and take my time and try not to break too many things. On this one little golf cart I got, on the front suspension, only one of the four uh, joints, the grease zerks, were uh, accepting grease. What does that mean? It means when I put the grease gun up to it and pumped, it went in easily and then it popped out the seams. Boom, I could see the uh, good grease coming out and I knew I was done. I tried it on these other three. No joy, no joy. And you don't want to force it because the grease will just come out right where the uh, adapter is attached anyway and make a mess. I don't like messes. Oh, I got my headlight on. I'm just trying to figure this out, man. All right. So what I do, I popped them off. This is a seven millimeter zerk they just come right off hopefully you know hopefully yours aren't seized mine came out pretty easily they weren't uh, frozen onto the suspension unit uh which is good so i popped them out knowing that there's either dried old grease in there preventing the little dare i say nipple <laughs> i know you got to watch out what you say on youtube but anyway the grease zerk fitting uh nipple was uh, seized on one of them really bad and what i did i just got a little smaller diameter screwdriver, push down on it. And then I knew it was seized up. So what I did, I used the old, let's show you right here, PB. No, it's not PB, is it? It's blaster. Blast, yeah, PB blaster, penetrating catalyst. I use that. People use brake cleaner, carb cleaner, whatever. Uh, I think this stuff is gold. So uh, bear, it's um, the original nut and bolt buster, big daddies. So I sprayed it. Let's show you right here inside to make sure there was no grease in there, dead old dried up grease. And then I was depressing down the little nipple with the uh, screwdriver and I sprayed some of the PB blaster into there to let it work free anything, any rust, any corrosion, any dead grease, dried grease on all three of them. Uh, they look like they're salvageable. I'm just going to let them soak a little bit to get some of the corrosion out of the rust. Um, not bad. It's just, this one was seized up, and uh, that's how I do it. That's what I read. What you can do, you can buy new ones. They're, they're probably pennies, but I don't want to wait. I just want to fix this now. I want it fixed now, and I want to put the grease in there and be done. You know, that's where I'm at right now. Anyway, there's a little tip I use. PB Blaster, 7 millimeter socket for mine. Came out really easy, and now I'm just going to soak for, uh, for a bit. Put them back in, and then hopefully... They will take grease. They should. I, I Basically, I can depress the little nipples and uh, they, they giggle. They giggle when I do that, like most good zerks. Anyway, that's all I got. All right, I'm out. See you guys. Let's zoom in on them. See you guys. Woo. Where's the other one? There's the uh, inside. Woo. See you in the next one, guys. All right.